am Michelle Mills. I am a certified health coach and I help adults with eczema reverse it naturally through methods like mindset, emotional work, and diet and lifestyle. So today we're going to be talking about candida induced eczema. If you have candida, you should take a supplement to help your body detox it. How do you know if you have candida induced eczema? You are craving sugar. You can't stay full. When you eat a meal, you want to binge eat after you eat. So for example, I would eat a bowl of food and if it was carb heavy, I would want to keep eating after I just ate. So that told me that the candida was telling my brain that that's what I needed. I needed more carbs, I needed more sugar because it wanted to eat. So when you have a good balanced gut bacteria, you crave good foods, you'll stay full longer, but if you're not staying full, you wanna keep eating, it's because our gut will actually, like the bacteria that lives in our gut sends signals to our brain, and that's what causes cravings and all sorts of crazy things. For lunch, I will eat a bowl that is a bunch of frozen vegetables that I've cooked up with ground beef. So it basically looks like this, and then I will season it with fresh garlic, fresh ginger, sea salt, pepper, and I'm good to go. This gets a little bit trickier if your liver hasn't detoxed yet and you have a salicylate intolerance. However, what you can do is there's foods that are very low in salicylates, so leeks, cabbage, lettuce, that's a good place to start, and then adding meat with that. So focusing more on your cabbages instead of broccoli, because broccoli is high in salicylates, and cabbage is very low in salicylates. Lentils, beans are low in salicylates. They will help you maintain weight when you're on diets like this. So making dessert, and I will link the recipe in the description down below, but like the bars, the cookie dough bars that are made out of beans, or you can make fake cookie dough made out of beans as well. That's gonna help you keep your weight up. You can buy lentil pasta and eat that throughout the day, but you have to pay attention if those carbs are feeding your candida. So just try to do those in moderation to keep your weight up, but not feed candida. Lentils and beans are not the most likely to feed candida because they're not very sweet. It's not like they're containing sugar like a high carb sweet potato. As you go along this candida diet, you will be able to add sweet potatoes in. Like I said, they're good in fiber, which will clean out your colon of the candida. The more I make these videos, the more I realize that I don't have a clue if you guys know what I'm saying anymore. I feel like I'm so far deep into this whole thing that when I talk, I just don't know if you guys are following me. <sighs> okay, buy a bunch of frozen vegetables, do it based on the salicylates you can eat. If you don't have a salicylate intolerance, buy all the frozen vegetables in the world as long as they're lower in carbs, that being leafy greens, like I eat a lot of salad right now. Raw garlic is an incredible ingredient when you are trying to get rid of candida. And I will chop raw garlic into most of my food and I'll make these really big salads. The fiber in these leafy greens will help, again, eliminate the candida that's died off. Okay, let's talk about cooking with tea because I think that's really fun. Ginger can help you with candida. So can Pa de Arco tea. I will link those in the description down below. So you can steep these tea. So make some hot water, put it in a cup, a mug, and put in your tea bag. So I will put in one bag of rooibos tea, one bag of ginger tea, and I will steep that for about 15 minutes. When it's all steeped, I will take my cast iron pan and fill it without with about half an inch of tea. Then I'll start cooking down my frozen vegetables, then I'm gonna add in the meat. So again, let me go over some meat that I've been eating. Free range organic turkey, ground turkey, grass fed organic beef, I will eat wild caught fish. So if you're on a budget and you can't afford those types of things, you can afford sardines packed in water without salt. They're like $1.99, you can order them off the internet. I like the brand Wild Planet. So if you're on a budget, a small tuna, so skipjack tuna is a small tuna which won't contain mercury. 
That is a really great source of meat as well. So you can do tuna, salmon, sardines, you can do mussels, oysters, clams, crab, as long as you're not allergic, and add that to your meals. So sometimes I get a big packet of mussels and I'll throw in about a handful of mussels into my pan and I cook that up and your food will not stick to the pan as long as you keep tea at least a little bit in there. So as you see, the tea will start to go away. So you wanna make sure you put in enough that it's not gonna stick, but you don't wanna put in too much that it takes forever for the tea to evaporate. So when you see the food starting to stick and there's no liquid left, pour in more tea. So pour in a couple of tablespoons of tea to get the food to unstick from your pan. Things love to stick to cast iron and nothing will stick to my cast iron pan if you keep liquid in your pan. Some really, really great teas when you have eczema to cook with are fennel, I'm trying red clover, rooibos, you wanna make sure that your teas aren't caffeinated. Um, you can do a ginger tea, a chamomile tea, fennel, like I said, pot de arco tea, these are some really good examples, and it gives your food so much flavor. If you cook with a ginger tea, you're automatically putting flavor into your bland vegetables. You can actually cook your lentils and your beans in tea. So steep a bunch of tea, pour it into a pan, cook your lentils or your lentil pasta with that. So when you cook lentil pasta, you do have to put in enough water to cook your lentil pasta you can cook it completely with tea, adding more nutrients and flavor to your food. <sighs> okay, I have to break up this video because I swear you guys aren't following me. If you are, please comment and let me know that you can follow me through these videos. We're just gonna tell a story real quick. So the story we're gonna tell today is of my mom. So my mom actually has, um, she, her sign of inflammation is arthritis and she'll feel it in her arm and she'll wake up in the morning and her whole arm will be numb and i've actually been teaching her how to listen to her body and because of this she's able to tell me when she has inflammation which is the most incredible change i've ever seen a lot of people think that they're it's just like you just wake up and feel bad some days oh it was my sleep or oh it was this but in reality you can track it back to your food so my mom called me the other day and she was like, oh, I feel terrible, I'm so inflamed. And I was like, okay, well, what happened? She was like, well, I drank a beer and I had some pasta. And she was like, I feel so bad about this, this sucks. And I was like, whoa, 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 it's fine. We're human, we make mistakes, we are not robots, okay? Forgive yourself and feed yourself good foods today. And she told me that that totally transformed the way she felt about everything. She was like, thank you so much for saying that because now I don't feel guilty. I'm not beating myself up. I'm not making myself feel awful because I had these foods. And I was like, you know, it's totally fine. I'm The important part is she was able to see a direct correlation between drinking beer that has gluten in it, having pasta that has gluten in it, and her inflammation. And that's where I want you guys to be at. So, I hope you enjoyed that story. Also, another little fun thing we can talk about to break up this video, I created stickers, and I'm not selling it on my website, so if you want a sticker, you have to message me personally so I can send you the link. And it's called Ditch the Itch, and it's in my like turquoise color. Back there, I have the book that I wrote. Um, it's called Eczema Healing Lifestyle Transformation. And you can order this off of Amazon, and I will put that in the description down below. Um, it's a really amazing book where I go through and teach you guys like everything. It doesn't have the gut healing eczema protocol. You can only get those in my programs. But it goes through and talks about kitchen staples. There's a recipe for my gut healing super soup tells you how to bathe, it tells you what essential oils to put in your bath. So you can go ahead and get this on Amazon. It is $16.99. Look what I did. Okay, hopefully it doesn't fall while we're talking. 
Okay, running through my day, let me just go ahead and tell you what I eat. I've been eating a lot of coconut oil. Coconut oil contains caprylic acid, which does get rid of candida. I've been eating a lot of chocolate, and I will actually melt down the chocolate chips. They're pure chocolate. They don't contain sugar, they don't contain dairy. It's just pure cacao. Melt that into coconut oil. I will add stevia and monk fruit, freeze it, and create desserts. So I've been eating a lot of that. I've been eating so many of those bean cookie dough bars. So basically all the things that I eat are low carb vegetables, beans, lentils, nuts, unsweetened yogurt, and occasionally I will include a high carb vegetable like sweet potatoes. And that should be a guide enough for you. Something else that I've been eating is I will take unsweetened cashew yogurt and I will add in some monk fruit to sweeten it I will add wild blueberries because they're high in phytonutrients, but they're low in carb. And so I've been eating that with macadamia nuts and hazelnuts. And that's been a really nice snack for me at night. Basically, those are all the things that you can eat when you have candida. You cannot have maple syrup. You can't have coconut sugar. can't have cane sugar. You cannot have any sweetener except monk fruit and stevia, making sure that you source those well. I will put those in the description down below. You guys have to go check that out because I've linked literally everything. And I've been eating a lot of avocados, a lot of salads, a lot of garlic, a lot of onions, and you do smell bad, I promise you that, but you will, I mean like, this has been reversing so fast. I mean, you can barely see it anymore. And one thing that you have to do while healing is eat a lot of collagen. So I talked about this in my Instagram story. You can actually go get pho. Order it without the rice noodles. And so basically it's broth, meat, and order it with tendon. So order it with flank steak and tendon. The tendon is basically just pure collagen. And you will notice that your skin will get so dramatically better the next day. So consuming a lot of collagen, you can get a collagen powder. Um, I can link a collagen powder in the description down below for you guys and that will put you in a really fantastic place. So if you have any questions about Candida, please just DM me on Instagram. I will literally respond. I respond to everybody and I will get you squared away. But again, like I said, start with the root cause video. Figure out where your eczema is coming from. If it is Candida, come back to this video, get some food inspiration and go out there and make sure that you're eating enough food. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.